everyone. My name what is, is going on, everyone. My and name is Jay. Today I have something a little and bit different for you. Today I have something Usually a little I'm bit different King for you. Hearts videos, Usually I'm doing uh, Kingdom Hearts videos, which is what I kind of just like to do. I like Kingdom Hearts a lot. Just like to do. I like Kingdom like Hearts discussions and uh, um, I like making discussions and. Uh, uh, Theory videos uh, and all theory I also videos just like to put and gameplay of myself. I also just playing. like to put up gameplay of myself. But today playing. is going to be something a little bit different. But today is going to be something um, a little bit different. So because um, I've always not so always I've uh, always there was a starting always, point. Uh, there was a starting I used, point. Or I am I used, very into Naruto. Or I am and, very into Naruto. Um, and um, that. Anime is that one of the animes that anime really got me into. One of the animes that really got me into anime um, itself. But then, around um, the time then, of the first around series, around the time uh, of the first series in uh, Japan, around the time Japan, when the series around was the time on when the series Naruto was versus on Sasuke, Naruto uh, for versus Japanese Sasuke, version, uh, for Japanese the version. first series, by the way. That's when I started to get into manga, and I realized that manga was a way ahead of time than the animes all in general um and everything like that and by the time like i figured that out it was already in shippuden so i, I wanted to read the whole thing over um and then continue from there so if you guys don't know already naruto the manga has been ended and it's been in for maybe a year now maybe more and uh after a while kishimoto he released ninja gaiden which was kind of the introduction story to the new generation that is under Naruto's, which is, uh, you know, his son, Sasuke's daughter, and Orochimaru's son. And that story revolved more around uh, Sarada, uh, which it did focus more on her uh, kind of finding herself because she did not know who her real mother was, or at least she didn't think she knew. She thought that it was Karen because she had glasses on and stuff like that. And she awakened the Sharingan and she uh, was able to talk with her father. I, I don't remember, I might have to reread, but I think it was the first time she met her father, uh, Sasuke, in Ninja Gaiden. So yeah, so that's what when that happened. And then Kishimoto, he decided to just you know kind of take a break a good break because I think he like never went on his honeymoon or whatever he just wanted to spend time with his family um but then a while ago he announced that he was going to be making a new manga that is Naruto but it's going to be monthly along with another manga series that I think he wanted to do that is going to be sci-fi but um you know, I'm not very focused on that yet. I would like to see what it uh, what it entails because, you know, it is Kishimoto and he created Naruto, which was one of my most favorite mangas. But obviously, I'm a little bit more focused on Naruto. So, yes, he announced that uh, he's going to be making a monthly Naruto or Boruto, rather, uh, manga series. And I am very happy to let you guys know, if you didn't know already, that today was the first, the first chapter of that new manga. And it's going to be monthly. And this was, I think, I'm not for sure. I don't know for sure because, you know, this is just the first manga, the first chapter of the manga. But this one is very centered around Mitsuki and his... Uh, story from the beginning if you guys weren't aware about a week ago they actually had three pages leaked i think of this new manga uh the first chapter to the new boruto manga and it was the part where mitsuki was taking the drink that would erase his memories and that was basically it i think a chat and then a page after that was when he started to fight uh Sigetsu. So, yeah, basically what this video is, I wanted to make a review, kind of started to turn it into a discussion, but it's probably just going to be both. So, yeah, so, like I said, today was the first chapter, and this series, or this chapter alone, was very centered around Mitsuki and his uh, beginning story. Now, as far as after this chapter, I feel I don't know for sure if it's going to center around Mitsuki. I think that this story was just to kind of um, 
Lauren the audience uh, and to tell everyone what his origin story was because we all knew that his father was um, Orochimaru. We didn't know to what extent or to you know what was gonna happen, uh, like if he's actually a bad guy. I originally thought that it was maybe um, Orochimaru inside his body, you know, <coughs> like he just uh, went into a new body vessel. Uh, the same way that he was trying to with Sasuke, you know what I mean? So, but that's not the case. Uh, as far as Orochimaru's true feelings inside this manga, I don't know if he actually cares about Mitsuki. Um, and then his clone, his other self, his adult self. I think he does. I think Orochimaru has somewhat good intentions. Um, and I don't know how far he's willing to go because we've learned that in this chapter so basically what happened in this chapter he would seven times in a row and this chapter was set, uh, centered around the seventh time he would kind of have him face him I think like kind of face himself uh, his adult self to try and have him awaken his new stage mode power uh, it's it was it was confirmed in this chapter that Mizuki does indeed like fully have snake sage mode and this looks very different from Kabuto sage mode um I no I want to say I do remember mostly about Kabuto's power and you know it just it wasn't as pure as this one I don't remember how exactly he went about getting sage mode but he did get sage mode but this stage mode is very different looking. It looks a little bit more like how Naruto would look when he goes into um, BG mode or Chroma mode. I think it'd be Chroma mode. Whatever, man. So it looks a little bit more like that. Like there's kind of a glowing power around him. His hair kind of lights like fire, sort of. Um... He has the, uh, obviously the, the ring around his eyes. Obviously we don't know what color it is, probably purple or red. And then, uh, like, I can't really describe it, but for example, you know how Naruto, when he's in chroma mode, he can just use like a chakra arm to kind of extend a punch. Like those chakra arms is what I'm trying to say. They were like snakes around Mitsuki's body. If you want, I could probably put up a picture. Actually, probably not. I don't want to make any spoilers. I should have said spoilers. Spoiler alert. I guess that's too late. Anyways, so yeah. So this is just really my review on the chapter itself. And I really like this chapter. This really lured me in. Obviously, I'm a big fan of Naruto. But what really lured me is that he... Mitsuki, he was basic. He basically has his own clone that's an adult version of himself, which also does seem very close to um, Orochimaru. In the chapter, they obviously made it seem like he was an enemy, just so that they could trigger something inside of the young Mitsuki, because it was all uh, it was all planned, it was all devised to kind of um, just see how Mitsuki would take it and see if he could awaken his sage mode power. I think. Uh, but the, it, like they were seeing how there was like kind of two options, but he took his own where he would just decide, uh, who he is on, on his own, I think. And in that he actually awakened sage mode fully. But what I just want to talk about is in this new manga for Boruto, like I said, I don't know how it's going to continue from here on out. I don't know if it's going to really center around Mitsuki anymore or if it's going to actually go straight into like Boruto's story because if I go to the last page, uh, give me a moment. Yeah, so I do have here at the end of the chapter, it says here that the Naruto side story, which was this story of Mitsuki's uh, origin, next issue, Boruto begins its monthly serialization at last so yes next month we are going to be
really truly beginning they knew boruto chapter even though this was kind of a, a prologue chapter if you will finally giving us the details of mitsuki's backstory and uh i just want to say i really liked it i was really intrigued um and i was really put back kind of that mitsuki actually has sage mode um and the other thing is at first, when I read the the initial uh, kind of leak uh, pages, there, like I said, there was like three pages that was uh, leaked in a raw version, where it was when Orochimaru was giving him the memory erase uh, medicine, and then I think two pages after that, where the last page that was in there was when Sigetsu and Mitsuki was starting to like clash at, at, at the end. At first... I thought that that was actually a clone of Sigetsu, um, so that was just that, but I don't think so, uh, but I think it still does kind of look like Sigetsu, but maybe that'll go deeper, but what I really was wanting to talk about, when this story finally starts, will Orochimaru be the antagonist, and if not, who will be, because obviously there's going to be uh, sort of an end game sort of bad guy I guess you could say or some kind of problem inside the Boruto manga that they would have to face of course if not I'd be born and it wouldn't be Naruto so I want to just kind of talk about the possibilities Orochimaru <sighs> kind of hard to say like I said, with, with this chapter, we we didn't really get a true insight on, on what his motives could be as a whole. We knew that he was trying to awaken the sage mode powers inside of Mitsuki. But in doing that, at the end, I don't know if he has any real leverage on Mitsuki. But it seems like Mitsuki is going on his own. I don't know if he's going to be going back to Orochimaru. Um, because in Boruto, because this is obviously a prologue, this is what happened in the beginning, but in the Boruto movie, Mitsuki at the very end when he, uh, confirmed that Boruto, or Boruto, that Orochimaru was his father, he seemed happy about it, you know? He seemed confident in saying that that was his father. Also, if I'm not mistaken, when the movie, like, panned out after he announced that that was Orochimaru, on the bridge, I could have swore that was Orochimaru just staring down at him, but I'm going to have to watch that again to see that for myself. But as I was saying, Orochimaru, very questionable. We don't know what his motives are, um, and for all we know, he could be teaming up with uh, Mitsuki's clone um, adult version of himself uh, to be trying to do something, but... We still don't know what exactly his motives are. It seems like he's just trying to do experiments. And it seems like his true experiment has been finally completed. With having a a being stronger than himself. Which he stated in the chapter. Um, himself being Orochimaru. And the person being stronger is Mitsuki. Because he is fully capable of using the snake sage mode. Which is obviously overpowered if you haven't read the chapter he looks pretty cool and i feel like that's gonna play a big part in the new naruto or boruto chapter or uh manga series um now for other enemies there's obviously not much that we can really do as far as the kaguya not the kaguya clan uh i mean like a oh Otsutsuki, um, that's what I mean. Like the Otsutsuki, like Kaguya, and then uh, the the antagonists that were inside of the Boruto movie. I forgot their names. But basically those kind of beings, the ones that could be considered God in the Naruto world. <clears throat> Would they be coming back? I feel like it's a long shot because that has already happened in the end of Naruto and then at the end of Boruto. The movie, at least. Um, as far as more beings like Kaguya coming back, I feel like, like I said, it's a long shot. But it could definitely happen. Now, what about Sharingan users? 
I feel like that is also a far-fetched idea only because the only reason why there would be another Uchiha kind of problem is if there's more members. As far as we know, there are now no more other members, actual true members of the Uchiha clan uh, other than Sasuke and Sarada. Now, you could just say that um, just like these, these other uh, people enemies who used the Sharingan that was in Naruto Boruto Gaiden um, the seven chapter manga series that was after Naruto and which shed light on Sarada's uh, you know kind of family origin the enemy in that one was this weird guy who used um, Sharingan sorry I can't think of the name off the top of my head it's been a while and then like his cloned, several cloned child, children, um, who also was able to use the Sharingan. And then there was that little blob that was some form of something that I just don't remember. Sorry guys. But what I'm getting to is, the only other way that I would think that there is another Sharingan user is if someone was able to implant the Sharingan into their eyes, possibly using um, all those Sharingan that Obito had uh, in storage that we were able to see when he took Donzo's eye, or tried to before he destroyed it, Shisui's eye rather, but that's if Sasuke didn't already destroy all those eyes or something of the sort or you know there's not a real confirmation that all those eyes that were in cold storage or whatever are even there anymore but if there was ever a conflict with a Sharingan user I feel like that would be one of the only uh, real lead points as to how that even has become because like I said Sharingan users there's not more any at all like there's only two more Sharingan users and the only other way that there would be any more is if someone had implanted eyes into them. And the only way that would happen is if someone had their hands on the Sharingan storage that Obito had when he was pretending to be Madeira. And like I said, that's if it's even there anymore. Uh, if Sasuke didn't already destroy it. Or if, because I don't remember, but I feel like it was those those enemies who actually got those eyes from that storage area, if they didn't already use all of them. So, yeah. As far as that, I don't know what other type of enemies there could be, um, at least off the top of my head. So I guess we can ju we just need to be surprised. But again, guys, I hope you enjoyed this like review uh, slash discussion video on the new naruto or boruto manga i hope you guys enjoyed it um i'm not very good at doing this uh i just wanted to talk about it because naruto was one of my favorite mangas i have a few other favorite mangas but they're already really deep into the story so i would rather not you know talk about a manga that like for example tokyo ghoul re They've already done one whole series. Re is the second series, and it's already halfway done, at least probably. So it would be kind of senseless for me to uh, start a review series on a manga series that has already begun for a long time. Also, just the fact that my channel isn't known to be for, um, you know, reviews for manga. Uh, there are plenty of other channels for that, but I just wanted to kind of give my own excuse me, my own input on my favorite mangas, which is being Naruto. But again, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I'll probably come out with one each month for uh, each Naruto, or Boruto, freak. I have to get used to Boruto. Um, each Boruto manga chapter, I'll give my review, my discussion, my thoughts, and then that'll be that. But again, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one.